Welcome to Company Showcase, an advertising feature on HowStreet.com. I'm Jim Goddard. I'm speaking with Tony Mitchell, Director of Marketing for RecycleCo. Tony, welcome back to Company Showcase. Hey, Jim. It's great to be back. It's been a while since we heard from you. How are things with the company? Yeah, it's uh, been a while, Jim. And as a fellow shareholder, uh, it's been excruciating to not be able to speak about our number of positive uh, things going on within the company. As we watched our share price and others in our sector, you know, hit hard during the recent downturn in commodity prices for uh, battery materials. What I can say um, with 100% certainty, nothing has changed with the company and the viability of our technology. Other than interest for our process continues to grow. And, um, you know, in fact, we've had major early testing partners who went through smaller scale testing of the materials with Recyclico come back highly motivated to do larger scale testing. After they've gone away, you know, did their due diligence and comparing our recycling processes to others. You know, I personally think this renewed interest is driven partly by the soft commodity prices affecting the battery recycling industry. While at the same time, you know, high interest rates aren't helping those competing recyclers who are caught up in advanced construction phase. This could effectively mean, you know, other competing processes are found to be lacking or just not as financially viable as our patented, highly efficient closed loop recycling process, which makes me think, you know, uh, these days, only their most financially prudent and truly efficient process will make it through this difficult time. So with that said, when you consider where we're currently trading and our market cap with approximately $17 million in the bank and no debt, well, Jim, these facts are you know paired with a, having a joint venture with a highly reputable partner in Taiwan positions us very well going forward from here. How are things progressing with the company's first joint venture in Taiwan? Things are going great on that, that front, Jim. Um, our leadership team is in regular calls with Zenith's team on the ground in Taiwan as we ensure our uh, commercial engineering drawings meet the specs of the space you know we've been allocated over there. And essentially, we're following the plans we've laid out since we first announced our joint venture with Zenith back in June of last year, and we're currently aiming for commissioning our Taiwan plant during the last quarter of uh, next year, 2025. So beyond the current market conditions, things couldn't be better on the joint venture side of things. So I'm happy with that. I heard you recently had some big visitors to your demonstration plant. Yes, we did, Jim. And, um, you know, uh, there's a bit of a backstory. Back in November, I reached out again to uh, Sandy, uh, Sandy Monroe from Monroe Live, who's a big fan of our lean process, and uh, asked him if a fellow YouTuber named uh, Jason Fenske of Engineering Explained would be interested in checking us out. And, um, you know, for those uh, listeners who aren't familiar with Jason, his channel has uh, 3.7 million loyal subscribers and has built his following on asking the tough questions and making complex subjects easier for people to understand. So with, you know, all the myths and disinformation floating around our industry, I, I wanted to get these two highly respected guys in the same room with Norm Chow of Kometco, who's well respected around the world in his own right. You know, many of the myths and hype around the uh, lithium-ion battery industry, um, the recycling industry, to rest while answering questions on our unique battery recycling process. And the result is about 50 minutes of pure gold between these three awesome guys as they address a number of, um, you know, great questions posed by their numerous followers on Twitter. And, uh, you know, we'll add a link below to that candid, uh, unended discussion. And I say no punches were, uh, were pulled. So if you want a complete, unvarnished take on where things stand with us and the battery industry as a whole, it's well worth your time. How's the search for your next CEO going? Well, Jim, our interim CEO, uh, Zarko Maselgia, uh, just had his last day. And we wish him well in his future endeavors after seven years by working with the company, primarily a CTO, but in the last year and a half as interim CEO. You know, making the transition from CTO to interim CEO after our long-term CEO, Larry Ray, passed in September of 2022 would be challenging for anyone. As you know, Larry, uh, as you know, Jim, you you knew Larry. (laughs) He left very big boots. He left very big boots to fill after being CEO for over 35 years. But the team will be always thankful to Zarco for stepping in and doing his best. That said, at this pivotal stage of the company's transition from proving our technology works as efficiently as described in multiple test partner scenarios, to taking the next steps and ultimately becoming the global standard in lithium-ion battery recycling, uh, stage two lithium-ion battery recycling, we require you know a CEO with deep, deep C-suite experience 
who can negotiate with major players at the very tip top of this massive industry uh, while leading our team and achieving our long-term goals. And from what I understand from the leadership team, we are actively seeking candidates um, from the battery materials and technology space who can take us to the next level. And I'm hopeful that we'll find the right fit soon. So while I can't say anything more at the moment, I ask our many long-term loyal supporters locally and around the globe for their continued patience as we navigate through these short-term challenges towards the bright future we're all focused on achieving. Tony, for people new to the company, where are you traded and how can they get more information? No problem, Jim. We're, uh, we're traded on the TSX Venture under the ticker symbol AMY, on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol AMYZF, and on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol ID4. And you can get more information on our website at Recyclico.com. Tony, thank you so much for the update. Thank you, Jim. My guest has been Tony Mitchell, Director of Marketing for Recyclico. I'm Jim Goddard. Our conversation took place on February 29th. Comments made on Company Showcase are an expression of opinion only and should not be construed in any manner whatsoever as recommendations to buy or sell any financial instrument at any time. Archived online at HowStreet.com. Company Showcase is a production of How Street Media Incorporated.